When you think of a wine cellar, you might think of a fancy estate, but if you're a wine lover, why not build one in your own home? Here to show us how you can do that on any budget is Renee Sparazza. It's good to see you. Oh, she always brings a party with her. So I hear you have a very extensive wine collection at home. How many bottles are we talking? Well, I have 700 bottles at home. 700! Oh, no, right? Oh. Okay, but share. I, I do. Well, I you do. do. <laughs> she I does. do. I happily share. But, yeah. you know, you don't have to have that big of a cellar. I am a wine professional. I am small, I'm a sommelier. So yes. that's, this is really, like, my personal collection, but also wines I want to age out. Really, starting a wine cellar is a great thing to do. Once you hit that age where you start keeping, like, wine and spirits at home, yeah. highly recommend setting up, like, a small cellar space. Not only can you use it for, like, general enjoyment, mm -hmm. but also for aging out bottles and really kind of keeping things the way that you like it and stocking it with the wines you like. Okay, that sounds good to me. So it let's start work. with a uh, cellar maintenance. Oh, yeah. So there's some quick tips for yeah. cellar maintenance. It's pretty easy. Basically, when, wherever you're setting up a cellar in your home, mm -hmm. you want to put it in a place that's cool, but not yeah. too cool. Okay. So between 18 and 10 degrees. Okay. And you want to put it in a place that also has a little bit of, hu of humidity. Yes. So with that, about like about 40 to 50 degrees, most houses sit at. Yeah. And that's in the basement. So right. the basement is the best part if you have a house. Mm -hmm. That being said, if you do not have a house and you have a condo instead, you want to follow like three key rules no matter where you put your cellar. Okay. Keep your bottles laying flat, just like these guys right over here. Okay. You want to keep them out of direct light, so this is a bad room for it. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> and then and you also don't want to give them a lot of vibration. So okay. cool, dry place, and those three rules. Cold cellars, that's the way to do it. Cold I mean, cellars. it's a smart thing to do. Okay, how about a wine cellar option for a space that is, you know, they budget friendly? Budget friendly. Like you not got a ton it. of money, you can do it in a small space. Exactly. So this is what we have right over here. So this is a really budget friendly option for a cellar. You can build this cellar for about $500 and under, which okay. is super great. Yeah. It's basically a combination of these wonderful IKEA wine racks oh, nice. and a Coolatron 12 bottle wine fridge. You can use the rack can hold about 48 bottles and the fridge about 12. So with that, you can have a little wine cellar for about 60 to 80 bottles. Yeah. And these are really easy to set up here. Come over here. I want you to give me a hand with this. Okay. Okay. We're just going to lift this up and put it on top. So now you go from a small little. Oh, you can stack yeah, it up. Just right here to make sure it's there. There we go. And then you can put that bottle right on it. As Where do you want it? Anywhere? Anywhere. And then you want to just slide it so that the lip touches here, which means oh. it won't fall off. Oh, okay, got it. There you go. Don't let the dog in that room. Don't let the dog in this Boom. room. Can but you imagine? These also come with ways to secure them to the wall. Oh, so they that's have wall so smart. Secures as well. Yeah. And then I would keep the wine fridge up in your like high use area, kitchen, living room. Oh, Put this I in see. that cool, dry place. Yes. And there you go. About 60 to 80 bottles is pretty good for most people. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's an impressive seller to me. That's incredible. <laughs> so now uh, a seller option for someone that is a wine collector that has a little bit more space. Exactly. So we're talking about someone that's kind of in my range of collecting bottles, yes. about 700, around 1,000 bottles keeping okay. on hand. Yeah. Honestly, if you want to get out of that, I would, I would say like move to a uh, collection room at that point. Okay. However, if you have the space to do it, preferably for people with basements, I yes. would recommend a much larger wine fridge. So this guy this right guy here. right here is also yeah. from Ikea. It's about a, it's a 52 bottle wine fridge. Yeah. You could do 30 bottles, 94. You could pop that open there. You can see the wines just stack right inside and you can double stack them too. So That's a lot so nice. of bottles fit in there. Yeah. And what I would recommend is having these for your age-worthy bottles. Okay. When you're buying a bottle and aging it out, you want to buy multiples. So you can try it down the line oh. to see how it's aging. So you use one fridge for your reds and rosés, yeah. another one for your whites and sparklings. Yeah. Put those in that cool, dry place. And then these wine racks can fill it out, and these are where your everyday enjoyment items go, your everyday drinking wines. Mm -hmm. And then you can even be extra fabulous and add a smaller wine fridge into your high-use area. That is a beautiful thing. How do we know what is going to age? I know that's a big answer, but like... Can anything? Can you get anything uh, and like put it in there for a long time? The short answer is most wines are can only age about three to five years. Okay. There's a smaller portion that age five to ten and then up to 20, 30, 40. Those are a really small portion of wow. wines. It really does take a little bit of a helping hand mm -hmm. to kind of understand that, mm -hmm. which is why you can fill your cellar with some help, especially yes. with what I have over here. Okay. Yeah, so you can always join a wine club to help yeah. fill your cellar. I actually really recommend a Pimium. All the wines are, are here are from a Pimium as well. This is a 50-year-old wine club. It's mm -hmm. Canada's only national wine club mm -hmm. as well. 
And what makes them so great and why I like them for stocking your own cellar is because they can make a cellar and a snap with black back vintage bottles, library wines. They'll okay. give you in-home sommelier help virtually as well. Wow. And they have this like really cute cellar magazine uh -huh. that's kind of like a food and drink meets decanter where you can shop for wine and learn about recipes. Oh, so you can okay, really nice. start to fill that cellar yeah. with everything that you would love, yeah. ageable and otherwise. You can have something easy drinking like this Prosecco yeah. or something a little bit more age-worthy like this Saint Emilion Grand Classic. Can I go for it? It yeah, matches my outfit. It. Go for it. Go for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's important to match your wine, it right? It is. It's, it's delicious. Very important.